Yeah, my favorite reason for traveling, not just to Canada, but anywhere else in the US is because it's more hopeful than where we live. And some of that, um, Washington is a very words city, a messaging city, I call it a hashtag city, where there's, you're, you're filled with isms of debates rooted in ideologies that can sometimes be all head. And I don't believe in doom, but I confess, um, especially the last couple months actually, I've just been in a number of gatherings that have been intentionally diverse, and actually intentionally diverse to talk about polarization. Mm -hmm. And um, diverse along sort of ideological lines, racial lines, somewhat class lines. And there's just, I have left those gatherings almost sometimes to the point of tears, just I came home about two weeks ago saying, man, the founders of this country really screwed things up for the rest of us two and a half centuries later who have to deal with, um, you know, deeply morally divergent narratives, which I think is what is infecting so much of American, um, in, um, um, Americans' inability to understand where one another are coming from. There's now, it's not just, oh, I disagree with you, it's that your um, experience, um, it's almost like God and it's thrown into the conversation, like you're, if you disagree, you're sort of morally condemned. And there are these, and there's actually some real historical reasons that are somewhat legitimate for these power plays in any given room. Um, and I find that especially racially right now in the US. Um, where I find hope tends to be when people get out of the words and the debates, though I loved the debate last night, and when you have a shared project, which tends to be most, you know, they often say local government is working better than national government, et cetera. Um, there is a civic renewal going on in the country at the same time our politics has become so nasty. And I think with, with that, there's just something about a shared orientation and a shared assignment to improve a place to that where people wind up getting outside of their perceived differences and actually do get to a deeper basic sense of shared humanity. Um, but I'm not finding lots of examples of hope at a huge scale well, right now. I, I think the last time that might have happened for America was in the days after 9-11. Yeah. So catastrophe tends catastrophe to bring that on. Does that, yeah. Is it,